gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you very much, folks. Welcome to the program. My name is David Letterman. I'll be your host for the next hour. We think it'll be a magical hour, don't we, Paul? Yes. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, now, I don't often do this. Last night, for some crazy reason, I'm at home and I'm watching the newlywed game. <laughs> and, you know, one of the contestants actually said something pretty darn clever. He, of course, was immediately disqualified. Uh, Charlie, I may need some help here. <laughs> uh, mayor Koch, who, uh, by the way, is the mayor of uh, New York City, just recently won a landslide re-election. This is his seventh term as mayor of New York City. He's been in office 21 years. The man is... Uh, anyway, he's in uh, Japan. He's touring Japan. And the president of Japan asked him to make himself at home. He said, just make yourself right at home. The president is Prime Minister President Nakasone, right? He said, make yourself at home. And uh, so uh, to do that, Mayor Koch closed down three Tokyo bathhouses. So... <laughs> can tell us or not, but we're here at NBC. We here part of the NBC family. We're feeling a little, oh, I don't know, crestfallen today. It's because Helltown, the Robert Blake, the Robert Blake uh, television program, Helltown, featuring a priest with a nasty temper, <laughs> has has been canceled. Uh, and I think uh, we're finally finding out just how effective these summit talks can be, though. And uh, in other New York City news, Donald Trump. Do you know who this guy is? He's a, uh, 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 what do you call him? He's a uh, entrepreneur, a, a real estate magnate. Uh, owns a lot of property here in Manhattan. And the, yesterday morning he announced plans uh, on the Upper West Side of Manhattan to build the world's tallest building, world's tallest skyscraper. And he claims he is doing this in response to Manhattan's desperate shortage of tall, ugly buildings. So we're all... <laughs> Where exactly do you stand when you're doing television? Is it, uh, do you have to get a little closer? How close exactly do you have to? Do you have to get right up here on the camera? Is that is that part of the deal? So that you, uh, I I don't have to drink barium if I get this close to it. What, what exactly has gone wrong? Well, oh brother, we got a show for you tonight, don't we? Yeah. We all set? Yes. By the way. I'm still in a horrible mood. What's the matter? I know you don't care, so no, don't no, even pretend. I care very, very deeply. No, you don't I want to get it straight mind, before we no. go on. No, we'll, we we'll... don't resolve these things at the beginning. You know, they never get worked out. They just, they become major things between us. <laughs> well, let's actually make it sound more personal than it is. It has... Well, it's, is just... it's, it's me, isn't it? No, no, it has, it has nothing to do with you. Oh, it's not me? I'm not even sure what it is. You're not sure what it is? I'm not sure what it is. That's what the... you always say when you start to get upset. Well, maybe, maybe a little later we can delve into this. I think we better. But we got a great show. Look at who, who we have on the show tonight. Uh, Jay Leno is here. Edward Woodward. <laughs> and uh, tonight we're having pig races. Unmistakable music indicates it's time once again for another visit from the NBC Bookmobile, ladies and gentlemen. Here they are. It's the library. Nice to see you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the NBC Bookmobile and NBC's library lady, the lovely Miss Kathleen Anchors. Kathleen, nice to see you. I, uh, I heard some unpleasant rumors that the bookmobile is having a little trouble. Is that, is that possible? Oh, I'm afraid so, David. Oh, no. It seems that young people prefer watching noisy rock videos 
to reading. Oh, brother, that really, that really is a shame. But fortunately, things have improved. Uh -huh. Thanks to a new program instituted by gruff but lovable guts. <laughs> He got the idea from the documentary Scared Straight. Oh, Scared Straight. That's where hardened, convicted uh, criminals uh, uh, to try to scare juvenile delinquents by telling them horror stories about prison conditions. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So now what Gus does is stand outside the library, uh -huh. his breath reeking of liquor, right. and bully and threaten the children until, fearing for their lives, they desperately run inside for protection. Oh, my. <laughs> it's better than a circus. Better than a circus. Well, so uh, in other words, uh, Gus is actually scaring the kids straight into the library. Very well put, David. <laughs> That's right. Okay, well, let's get to the uh, some of the new publications you have for us tonight, uh, library lady. And I know, as always, some wonderful items on the shelf here. Oh, this is a good one. I, I might purchase this myself. Uh, Howard Cosell's I Never Played the Game, of course, has inspired a certain amount of hatred from his former colleagues, one of whom has not wasted any time in returning fire. It's called Frank Gifford's Howard, You Insufferable Bastard. <laughs> By the way, this is a, a real collector's issue. This is not Frank Gifford, this is Chad Everett. So, if you want to pick this one up, it's going to be quite valuable in the years to come. Oh, here's another nice one. Boy, and the holidays are right around the corner, so what better way to celebrate by giving this lovely gift here? Uh, here's the story of two friends, a borrowed convertible and a 3,000-mile auto trip across America. It's called On the Road with Klaus von Bülow and Tom Carvel. It's a, it's a lovely... I think that's Tom driving. I think it is. Yeah, I think, I think so. so. Okay. Well, you know, in these troubled times, everybody should own at least one self-defense manual, and here's the one I recommend. It's called Harry Reasoner's Lights Out, Punk. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> uh, here's the latest book by that irrepressible participatory journalist, George Plimpton. It's called Open Casket. Uh, how to books by famous athletes have long been mainstays of the bestseller list, and few sports enthusiasts will be able to resist the invitation to go balling with Manute. <laughs> have you looked through that at all? I've looked at it very briefly. Very briefly. So you wouldn't recommend that necessarily as a um, not entirely. <laughs> well, thanks for that vote of confidence. You know, with the growth of lotteries in this country, everybody's trying to make a quick book. That explains this new publication, slapped together by the phone company, New York Bell's Treasury of Lottery Numbers. <laughs> oh, I like this one. You know, books on uh, feminism and women's issues are always of interest, and and here's one with a fresh perspective. It's called Woman's Be Thinking Too Much by Ike Turner. What <laughs> a horrible thing to say. <clears throat> and finally, how are we doing on time? We got time for this one? Two minutes? Well, this won't take two minutes. What'll we do with the extra minute? It'll be a bonus minute for the viewers. All right. Uh, you know, Ann Lander seems to have uh, had a change of heart when it comes to advice for teens with this brand new volume. It's called Make New Friends by Going All the Way. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, library lady. Thank you, guys. Nice to see you again. Drive safely. Okay. Look at that, a great show. There it goes. Careful. <laughs>